Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I'm super excited because today is a very special day in YouTube world. Um, I've hit 7,000 subs and that is amazing. For all of my subscribers, I cannot thank you enough. Most of you have been with me from day one and I can't thank enough all the new guys that are you know, getting a lot um, of information out of my videos. That's what I'm hoping for, trying to weed out the bad, stay with the actual information that's pertinent. And that being said, I'm now releasing one of the most sought after products that has been requested since the inception of the G540, and that is the first dual G540 enclosure. This is the easiest way, bar none, to expand your current system to now supporting up to eight axes. Um, this enclosure, I consider the master edition. It does come with GX16 connectors pre-installed. You can see we've got our dust covers. Uh, you will get, when you purchase this enclosure, all of the dust covers, of course, all the GX16s, and what you'll be receiving is 12 GX16 3-pin and 2 GX16 6-pin. Now, why would you need 12 GX16 3-pin and 2 GX16 6-pin? Common question. Um, I want everyone out there to understand the gravity of what this system is capable of. Very few do who aren't engineers, and I'm not saying that to be mean or to be condescending. I get that told to me a lot, and I don't understand that. What I'm saying is this system far and away exceeds any capable system on the market due to the fact that when you run two G540s, what most people don't understand is that it enables you to have double the amount of inputs and outputs. That is absolutely huge in potential. The standard G540 with a single drive incorporates four inputs, two outputs, and one PWM signal to manipulate your single, or your spindle, excuse me. So when we have two drives, once again, we're gonna have the available inputs of eight, available outputs of four, and then available PWM signals to be manipulated for spindles of two. Now you understand the expansion capabilities of this system. Chassis is amazingly small. Again, we're dealing with a 12 inch by 12 inch by eight inch high enclosure. I've already done a previous video showing the release of the world's first eight axis integrated drive system featuring the G540. Of course, uh, this chassis doesn't let anything down. We do have the EMI dipped enclosure, full aluminum. Uh, again, GX16's dust covers. We do have our dust cover back plate for the second drive now because I've gotten so many requests for guys that want a system that can grow with them. Now you have the availability. Now, in order to grow with this system, because this is the one caveat to using this, you will require a Warp 9 Ethernet Smooth Stepper. Warp 9 will allow you, once again with the Smooth Stepper, to run two drives in parallel to be seen as one drive in Mach 3. And Mach 3, you know, has been the flagship software I've mentioned numerous videos on, and that's going to be for a shorter period of time than most realize, because I will be releasing a version of motion control software very shortly. And rest assured, I feel it's probably going to exceed anything currently on the market available in not only support, which is something that many of us don't see, but also capability. And that's a big statement to be made, but I haven't really let anyone down yet, and I don't plan on it. Um, I've done extensive homework and extensive work with um, some Russian engineers to get this software where it needs to be, and they've done a fantastic job of supporting it. And I look forward to, once again, showing you guys what's capable with these kind of systems. Um, again, this enclosure will not let anyone down for those uh, enthusiasts out there that want to build their own system, or I should say enthusiast or professional, see inside the system, you can see exactly what we've got here with our GX16s, everything here is set up, you're good to go. 3D printed back plate, you're all set there, and you can see you got plenty of room here to integrate your cooling system. Now, I did release my autonomous uh, dual fan cooling module. That is initially what this system is designed for. However, being open source, I have many guys that are, hell, they might be better engineers than myself, and they want to design their own system. This is essentially it in a nutshell. I mean, this saves you countless hours of time fabricating the aluminum, doing everything that would need to be done anyways, and you're basically all set up with that. So again, 
Not much to show on the inside. Again, we have a standard enclosure uh, base chassis. I tried to keep this as small as possible. When I say small, it still has to be fully functional. You still have eight inches of height to work with in real estate, and we have a lot of room here. You can easily fit a 48 volt, 600 watt power supply, which I did in the eight axis system, which of course this can support up to. Okay, the big thing here is how you guys want to go about engineering. Now, that being said, let me discuss another area because I don't believe in, in BSing anybody. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages lately, and for some reason these messages seem to be built around, hey, I want to talk to you, I want to discuss things with you, I want to cover engineering with you, and for some reason they expect me to design a system for free, and that's not happening. I'm gonna say that point blank, it's not gonna happen. And I'm gonna put why it's not gonna happen because I want you guys to understand who you are dealing with. And when I say that, it's easy to sit here and talk the talk, but it's, it's real easy for me to reflect these products aren't just happening. I'm not just sitting around and I'm just you know coming up with these ideas and they just turn up. I have to invest money, I have to invest time to do this. You wouldn't call a mechanic and expect that mechanic to walk you through changing an alternator over the phone don't expect me to do that. First of all, I find it insulting. It tells me who you are as a, as a person. Do I want to work with you? Certainly not. And then on top of that, when I cover pricing, don't expect a problem that can solve auto, actually automating um, a factor of your business to make you money. Don't consider that a small problem to solve. If it was, there'd be a hell of a lot more of me. Okay, And I think that people sometimes get confused with that. But that being said, I'm going to quantify exactly who you're dealing with through two emails that I received. One from Marcus from Honest, who actually is the application engineer at Gecko Drive, and one from John Lee. Many of you don't know who John Lee is. Marcus you probably are aware of. John Lee owns automation technologies. John Lee in this email contacted Marcus for support. Marcus then directed John Lee to talk to me. Why? think about it. I know why and you'll read why. Okay guys this is my email that I actually received. This one is actually forwarded right here. You can see Marcus from Monash. You can see the date. This was actually very recent. It was this month to John Lee and it says John I've attached the XML file from Mach 3. Vince Marino uses a decent number of G540s with the VFD function and his email address. Boom. So Marcus is directing him to me and just so everybody can see it, automation technology. Hi, Vince. We try to have a G540 to control the VFD. We did not get it working. Could you could you do me a favor to help us get it working? If you have time, could you call us, John? Down here. Hi, Vince. We checked many times and worked five days. We watched your video more than ten times. We cannot get the relay working. We we configure same as you have it from Marcus. Do you have time to talk and get it working? We'll pay you fifty dollars to buy beer. <laughs> uh, John doesn't know I don't drink beer. I'm very into fitness. Um, but you can see right here, this is exactly what I'm dealing with. And you can see once again when I expand the email, you can see who this person is. And once again, what I'm stating is absolutely 100% correct. You can see the date, the timestamp. I'm in Gmail. This is real. Okay. So once again, the owner of Automation Technology is asking for my support on a drive that he sells. So now you guys have even more validation of what you're dealing with. I try to make it so that you guys understand. I try to be transparent. I want you guys to know there's a reason my time is valuable just like yours is and we quantify it by being fair with each other. You guys support me and I have absolutely no problem supporting you. If I asked you, hey, you know what, you're a roofer or you're a mechanic or you're a doctor, hey, I need you know you to work with me consulting for this application, I have no problem whatsoever doing that. However, money will exchange hands for time. That's the right thing to do as a business, as to me a human. I think everybody should be compensated for their time and knowledge, and that's just the way it needs to be. So again, um, you can see exactly what I'm saying here. And this is kind of surprising because I've never actually received, and I don't think many of you have received emails from your competitors asking for help. But that proves my point.
When a guy who owns automation technologies, if you want to find out who he is, he owns automation technologies. He sells at least, I would say, a thousand products over what I have in my store. I don't just sell products to flip. I sell products that I understand are designed. That way you guys have the support you require. That's why you come to me. There's two types of guys that come to me. The guys that want to do it right the first time and haven't spent the dime and find my videos luckily, or the guys that have gotten burned, watch my videos and come back to me. Those are the guys that typically I deal with. Now, some argue my prices are high. I argue, well, look at the problems I'm solving. You're not asking for easy problems to be solved, therefore my prices are compensated based on what problems I'm solving. If you feel you can do it better, you wouldn't be on YouTube, because YouTube's based around DIY. These are facts. These are what I know, and these are something that need to be covered because for some reason, there are a certain group of people that keep getting directed to my videos, and I don't understand this, that feel that I should work for free. That's not gonna happen, okay? We need to quantify and be fair where things need to be fair. I will help you make money with your business model. That's my job, by providing you equipment that can do so. But, that being said, products like these don't just happen. This didn't just happen, it just didn't fall out of thin air. I had to invest money and therefore I have ROI too. Your business model may be creating products. My business model, once again, is creating products. The difference is I'm investing what I'm investing, you're investing what you're investing. We can have a happy relationship if that synchronicity is not breached in the terms of what we're doing for each other. As soon as you feel that you're getting robbed or you're, you're, you, know, you shouldn't have to pay for a service, which is a service, knowledge is a service, then you need to quantify who you're working with, okay? When I have my competitor, who is the largest competitor probably in the country of automation components, willing to pay me, number one, it tells you who you're dealing with, because if you're smart enough to realize that Chevy is basically asking Ford how to do things, that tells you something, number one. Number two, why? I must know something. So many of you contact me for that same principle. Many of you contact me because you don't find these products anywhere else. There's a reason. Because number one, I've got the pocketbook to invest and do this, and that's fact. And number two, I'm investing the time to do it right, so you don't have to. Now think about that. I've just quantified how fast it is for you to run up to eight axes with your system like that. You don't have to invest any time other than purchase this, install your drives. If you're competent and you watch the videos, and I have now well over 200, you easily have a college course. You could easily assemble a system if you have the aptitude and if you're willing to take the time to study. You can do it. Anyone can. The problem is brushing over videos or for some reason, once again, going through things in a manner that's not associated with the way things should be done in terms of business and assuming that someone owes you something because they're putting something online. It just doesn't work that way, guys. It doesn't. That's not real world, that's not how I work, and I certainly don't want to do business with you. If you, that's the way you are, I have nothing, there's nothing that's gonna work out well with that, okay? But if you're someone that sees value in what I offer, so subscribers that have been with me from the beginning and seen not only my business grow, but theirs as well, those are the people I want to deal with, okay? I can tell you right now, for the subscriber amount that I have, 7,000 in YouTube land is pissants, I have the most videos with the lowest subscriber count because I never quantified it. I'm not doing machining, I'm not doing anything. I know it's not as interesting, but the electronics is interesting because of one thing. Many of you realize all of those machines would be paperweights if this equipment is not built correctly. And anybody out there who's running it knows that. So again, I don't pull punches. I believe in being totally upfront, totally honest with you. I am a businessman. I am not a charity. I will work with anybody Right now, I've actually got a layaway plan with um, one of my clients, and I'll do anything I can to make this, this equipment affordable. That being said, never try to take advantage of someone who's willing to help. Anybody, regardless me, my competitor, whoever it may be, realize this stuff is not easy. It's not easy to do. If it was, everybody would be doing it. I mean, and that's the truth. So again, in order, instead of going all, off on that rant, which again is, pretty much overdue because I say that and I'm getting these messages, like I said, daily, so please bear with me. Many of you guys have gotten similar messages in your own field, I'm sure, but 
seeing something like this, like I said, I hope it solves many of your problems because this is one investment that will pay for itself easily in one or two runs. Depending on your client, a five-axis system, what it's capable of actually producing in the right hands is absolutely amazing. You just have to see it. If you don't believe me, go online, do a YouTube search. You can see what you can do with a five-axis system. It's full articulated motion. Okay. The big thing here is your capability. The other factor is it's the only expandable system on the market. What's that worth? You don't have to guess. Mount your two drives, you're all set. Everything fits. Once again, you've got your 12 by 12 inch, so if we have to go with relays, if we have to go with accessories, you've got everything in here. When I get asked, and believe me, I get asked this a lot, you know, why do these systems cost so much? Imagine wiring 14 GX16 connectors. Imagine a lead time, imagine a soldering, the flux, all the heat shrink involved. Imagine doing every one of them. Imagine doing engineering on both drives. Imagine engineering the cooling system. Have you ever done that before? I mean, many of you say you watch YouTube videos. I get that a lot. I've watched YouTube videos. I know I've watched all your videos. Okay, this is not easy. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. I wish it was easier. It's not. It's, it's time consuming. To do it correctly, it is. And a lot of YouTubers never put that in there. They'll never put in how much time they quantify exactly what they've invested to do this. I've done this now for years. You can quantify it by my videos. You don't believe me, pull it up. I mean, I didn't get 7,000 subs overnight. And believe me, it's actually a very small amount, like I've said before. But seeing this kind of work, to appreciate it, you don't have to. But to say that he knows something that I don't, I think many of you do. And I think that's why you respect me with the videos. And then you always respect my honesty. And that's why I'll do videos where I say, hey, spot the knot. But I'm also going to do videos showing you what the truth is. And now you'll see the truth. Like I said, when I'm getting requests from competitors to offer help, and will pay for my support, there's no way in hell anyone who's expecting me to design, whether it be, and believe me, I've got some really odd projects, uh, a skate or a, uh, uh, excuse me, an ice skating simulator. I've had a request this week for that. Guy wants me to do uh, full engineering on that for motors and transmission. No, uh, once again, not expecting any payment involved. This is just ridiculous. It goes from that to, flight simulators, you name it. I mean, we've gone all the way down the gamut. Let's be realistic, okay? If you want to hire a serious person who is not an engineer, not someone who's doing anything, that's fine. Do that. If you want to hire someone that's got a trusted track record, not only on eBay, 7,000 subs, you can see my work. I'm not hiding anything. You've seen my soldering, you've seen my work. I average about six actual cable builds a week. That's on average. Everything from international, I posted that, and now I'm showing this. There's a reason. I'm not hiding anything. I'm showing you exactly how it's done. If you can do it better, I hope many of you can, but there's a reason. So again, seeing this, I think it's gonna help many of you. I think it's gonna be an investment that you guys, whether you can do it now or do it later, this system will easily grow with you, and it will offer you the most expandability because the biggest hassle most guys have is that they look at adding a second drive, uh, or they've outgrown four axis because they're running a slave Y and they need, you know, rotary or guys with plasma want to keep going with a rotary and, you know, add all kinds of options. This will allow it. So again, I hope the video has been helpful. Thank you all for your support.